Hi everybody, Laura here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you that was inspired by a print that I saw on Pinterest, which is where most of my inspiration comes from, but I love this simplistic gradient design and I wanted to do something kind of similar to it. So I have this sunny days sun die and then I also pulled out the border waves die set. I'm only gonna be using that border, that wave border on the bottom. Okay, and then I have a panel of Nina Solar White and then a card base of Nina Solar White. Both are 110 pound. We're going very sturdy today. And I cut my panel quite a bit smaller. That way I could kind of crop my sun off to the left. And it also gives you a nice thick border around the edge, which I love. So I'm cropping the sun off. I take it to my die cutting machine. Now I love this die because you get the positive and you get the negative sun. You could use either one. Today I'm only using the negative because I like to turn a negative into a positive. Oh yeah. Now for behind the sun, I trimmed a panel of lemon chiffon cardstock and that'll show through beautifully for the sun. Now for the waves, I have four shades of teal, aqua, and blue. And I'm gonna die cut those with this wave die. Take those off camera. This first cardstock is sea glass. It's the lightest shade. Now the wave didn't cut all the way through, so I just cut off that excess. My waves are gonna be way too long, but I gotta figure out where I wanna, you know, center the waves and then I'll trim off the excess. The next wave is Audrey Blue. And then we have Peacock Teal. That's even darker. So we're going gradient. Now I didn't have anything darker than the Peacock Teal in that color family. So I just pulled out Soft Navy. And you know, I think it just works. You just go with what you got. And I'm gonna pop up my sun panel, popping that up right over. I did put a few little slivers. I know, teeny slivers, just so that sun didn't sag. Nothing worse than a saggy sun, am I right? Now popping that up over the lemon chiffon. Not that you have to pop it up, but the shadows and the dimension are what makes me get out of bed in the morning. Now the waves, you could have popped them up, but popping up four waves might get a little bit high. You don't wanna cross the line. Not that there's a dimension police, I'm just saying. So I use some Gina K tape runner and I am keeping all my waves exactly, you know, in the same, you know, you know what I'm saying? All the points are lining up. Not that you have to, you could stagger, but based off of that print, it, everything was just so symmetrical, neat and tidy, and I was digging it. So that's what I'm doing on here. Now I'll take this to my paper trimmer and cut off the excess. I love to use a paper trimmer. You could easily use scissors, but the paper trimmer just gives you that exact slice. You know what I mean? It just looks clean, like no messing around, because this card is very simple. So you wanna get the execution sharp as a tack. I do anyway. Okay, for a sentiment, I pulled out the Hello Sunshine stamp set and I'm gonna use that Hello Sunshine sentiment, but my wave was getting in the way. I couldn't center it. So you know what? I didn't have these adhered down real strong, so I kind of lifted the waves off and then I'll just uh, stick them back on later. So I can center my Hello Sunshine right in the center of the sun. And I'm just gonna stamp that in black with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Stamp it right onto that lemon chiffon. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I had to stamp this Hello Sunshine about five times to get it as crisp and vivid as I like it. So I went, my, I went ahead and bought a new VersaFine ink because I think this ink is probably 10 years old and it's dry. You probably can buy a reinker, but you know what? I think it's high time I buy my, I treat myself to a new VersaFine. I'm treating myself. You know, sometimes you just gotta do it. And now I'm gonna re-adhere my waves. And you know, one of the wave, that top sea glass wave kind of slightly cuts in to my sentiment, but I kind of like it. I feel like it ties it all in and I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna put more tape runner on the back of this entire panel and adhere it straight onto my card base. Now the nice thing is because I had already popped up that panel onto the lemon chiffon, everything looks like it's popped up and I love how this looks, it's very clean. Now to finish it off, I added a few clear drops and let me tell you, not all clear drops are created equal. These little things by Lucy are fantastic. They are clear, no yellow tint, 
Highly recommend three different sizes. I put a few on there, staggered them, and this card is finished. Very simple, but most of the time, the simple cards are my most favorite. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.